This is King George Square, out the front of Brisbane's famous City Hall. Now, even during the day, this imposing building behind me cuts a formidable figure. But come night time, it takes on a whole new ominous dimension. And that's something that I'm going to discover on tonight's walking ghost tour of Brisbane City. The ghost tours are run throughout Brisbane by Jack Sim. From cold, chilling presences to actual sightings of apparitions, you can expect to experience it all as Jack takes you through the city, stopping off at sites where incidents have occurred. Welcome everybody to Ghost Tours. Our very first site here is City Hall. That's for good reason that we meet here, not just because it's a nice central location, but also because it's very, very haunted indeed. Now, back in the 1940s, it said that a council worker who took his life there decided that he would uh, stay there for good. And even today, we've still got stories of strange kind of ghostly figures being seen walking around up on the third floor. Believe it or not. But there's plenty more of the same as you wander the streets of the city, like in the old laneway tucked behind the Wallace Bishop store. A place where you would have found a slaughterhouse, but now are more likely to find the ghost of an apprentice butcher. Believe me, I was pretty keen to get out of that alley and onto some place a little less dim, like the Brisbane Arcade. Now the arcade is very well lit now, but after hours when it's very dark, well, it, it takes on a whole new sort of a whole new sort of feeling. A feeling that on many occasions has been caused by the sightings of a female form. The ghost of a dressmaker from the 1920s is said to haunt the arcade, trapped between this world and the next. Now, nobody really knows exactly how it is that she died. Perhaps it's the story I've been told that she actually fell from up here high off the gantry and landed head first down here on the hard ground below. Or alternatively, maybe it's the not so nasty story of how she actually died whilst pushing to meet a deadline to get a wedding dress completed. Let's get away from all these bright lights and go somewhere a little darker and a little more creepier. This way. And that kind of place would be at the top end of the city, like the old Lands Administration Building. This building is said to be haunted by a woman named Marjorie. In 1938, Marjorie went missing after spending the night with a high-profile politician, never to be seen again. Well, not in the flesh anyway. Look up, you might catch a, a look at Marjorie Norville looking at you out of the windows. Something she likes to do. Our final two locations for the night were at the top end of George Street, Parliament House and the Botanic Gardens. We've done the Brisbane uh, walking tour tonight. You've got other tours as well? Yeah, that's right. We run haunted sleepovers at haunted places such as Boggaro Jail. Leave me out of that one. <laughs> yeah. Plenty of people do. Yeah. Um, we also uh, take bus tours as well. We've got one that goes into Boggaro Jail, another one that takes you out into uh, the very beautiful and creepy Tuong Cemetery. I mean, you come on these tours, do you ever see anything? Well, we've had a number of strange things happen people say they've suffered from nausea and headaches in a couple of the locations other times well we've actually seen full silhouettes of of people uh, what look like apparitions of elderly women standing in the windows of buildings yeah doesn't happen on every tour i don't no. sort of profess that it will but uh we have had some strange unexplainable things jack offers his walking ghost tours every thursday and friday night at 7 30 pm or by appointment the tour normally takes about one and a half hours, so comfy shoes are a must and cost $15 per person or $13 for concessions. Jack's other tours, such as the haunted sleepovers at Bogger Road Jail, are also by appointment. And numbers are limited, so it's best to contact Jack for more information. Jack, it looks like everyone's cleared out on us, mate. Thanks very much for the tour of Brisbane's ghosts. I've enjoyed it. That's all right, Rupert. Um, just one last thing. What's that? <laughs>